Hello everyone, it's Kiki and I'm here with some more shrink plastic pin fun. Uh, I've really been enjoying using these and I've actually managed to sell a few pins so that's also fun. Uh, I did have the templates drawn up on ArtRage and I couldn't get them to print so I just stuck the plastic over the tablet. I did have something in between to keep the tablet safe. Don't worry, you can't really tell it's there, but it is there. Uh, but even with that, I never really got anything on the tablet, so it didn't matter that much, but always good to be safe. Now, I've actually done Ami before in, I think, my second shrink plastic video. My shrinky dinks. But when I drew her that time I completely forgot to draw the reflector in and I also totally forgot about Isun. So I knew I wanted to fix up a lot of the templates that I had done and make them a little bit more clean because I drew a lot of those very quick as sketches just to play around. Uh, so this is a cleaned up version, a little bit more refined. I do have it that I can take out the reflector and is soon if I want, but I wanted them in there for this. Uh, and I'm really happy with how it came out. I did have a few troubles here and there with getting um, the black in and the gray and stuff like that. And I also had a few smudging problems and just from when trying to cut it out I ended up getting like, you know, finger oil dirt on it so I had to try and fix that. So after it did shrink down I had to do a lot of touch-ups on this one. Uh, but in the end I think it turned out quite good and I really like the look of it and I, I'm saying and a lot, I apologize. I do like it a lot more than the first one that I made. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Another thing I forgot on the original one was the little Paul wing things. I totally forgot to add those in. Pikachu! Because of course I had to do Pikachu. Uh, it actually took me a really long time to get the template to uh, look good because he was being a little pain in my butt. But I eventually got it to a really pretty good point. It kind of looks like he could be laying down like a loaf or he's looking up at you however you decide to look at it. This is another one that I did have to fix up a bit after I shrank it down because the color ended up being very splotchy and see-through. So I did have to go back over it again after it was sh shrank. And uh, I also <laughs> forgot to color in the whites of his eyes. So that was, that was good. And next is Pooh. I love Pooh. I totally forgot to draw his little belly spot on though and realized it after I had fully colored his body the darker blue so I had to fuss around in order to try and get his lighter spot on there. I did manage to do it without too much issue uh, with the baking part. It didn't really flake too much and it came out pretty good. But uh... Yeah, he was another one that actually gave me trouble when I was drawing the templates. And it took me a while to figure out that I was drawing his ears too long. And his feet were also bothering me, but I eventually got it to a point that I liked. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how my little poo boot, poo, my, my poo dude came out. Uh, for those that don't know, poo here is the spirit beast of Yusuke in Yu Yu Hakusho, which is a, uh, early 90s anime, which I grew up on. Ah, yes, these. I did uh, Naruto headbands, a regular one, and then the slashed one, so you know, you got, you got Naruto and you got Sasuke in there. My friend was teasing me about it, but I'm like, how could I not? Ow. I just hit my lamp with my hand. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. There's real subtle differences to them. The one in the back is just slightly darker and the one in the front is a little bit brighter. I did end up making the 
Leaf Village sign a bit smaller on the front one. I'm not sure how I managed that, considering on the template they were the same size, I think. No, it is smaller on the template. A little bit. Oh well. And I wanted to do another one. It took me a while to figure it out, but I was like, oh, No face! I don't have many Spirited Away ones. So I did No Face. Uh, I think the only other Spirited Away one I have right now is a little baby Totoro with some soot sprites. I did do one with Gigi and baby Gigi, but that one ended up getting messed up and I just haven't gotten around to redoing it yet. I really like how No Face turned out. I think he came out pretty good. Uh, I tried to do like a little gradient on the the black part because he does kind of like fade out to nothing at his bottom. So I kind of tried to represent that by adding in a little bit of gray at the bottom and I think it turned out pretty good. It was a little difficult to blend in because the gray was drying faster than the black. But uh, yeah, and then I used this absolutely awesome uh, Excel blade that my grandpa got me for my birthday. It's like formed so it's much easier to grip. It's not just a straight cylinder so it's like and it cuts so nice and it's so nice and I love it. Um, I did cut down further into the area between Pikachu's ear and tail than I had initially meant to so I was really worried his ear would end up folding but luckily it did not. But yeah, I've, I've started to leave a little bit of a rim around them just to kind of help make it look a little cleaner and a lot of them do have kind of spiky edges so that also helps with keeping those edges from getting wonky. And I apologize for the grease splatter on the windows here, but at least you can see it happening. I did try to wipe them down, but it didn't help. Uh, but yeah, we got a little mini oven so I can actually see in and record. I know a lot of people really enjoy the fun, dancey, shrinky bits because it's kind of weird and cool. Some of them didn't do anything fun. They just kind of went and just right back down. But some of them, like Pikachu here, Pikachu scared me picking up the aluminum foil and stuff like that. Uh, but they all laid out flat. I didn't really have to fuss with any of them, which was really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how they all came out. And after they were all done cooking and doing their little dance, I added on a layer of UV resin and attached the pins to the back and they were all done. One thing I do keep forgetting to keep in mind is that the paint does get darker when you shrink it. So if you're going to do these, keep in mind that a lot of times the paint will darken. Not all of the colors do it, but a lot of them do it. Um, I feel like once you put that 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 clear kind of protectiveness over it, whether you use dimensional magic, which I have tried, but it never works for me, which is why I use the resin instead. Uh, I just feel like it really brings it to life and makes those colors pop, and it just looks just looks so much more awesome once you get that that clear coating on there and. Ah, it looks so cool. And yeah, I really like the result of all these and I hope you like them too. And I hope to see you around again. Till then.